Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 14 of the Wealth Journey series. I've got a net worth update for you. We're going to jump right in. So the total amount of cash I have, and I will have this on the screen as usual, is $10,733.65. If you're wondering what the heck happened to your cash if you watched the last video, you know, when my cash was like a thousand more dollars than what it is right now, I'll tell you what happened. But before I do, first we're going to talk about exactly how much money is in my checking account, my savings account, and my emergency fund. And then I'll paint a quick picture for you. So as of the end of September, I have $3,506.42 in my checking account. In my savings account, I have $1,000.12. That is very intentional, by the way. In my emergency fund, which I have with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, which is a high yield savings account, I have $6,227.11. And this all makes a grand total of $10,733.65. So what happened? I just decided to beef up my checking account a little bit and I figure I should have a buffer. I've always said from like, I think maybe the first episode of the Wealth Journey series that I like to have anywhere between a $600 to $800 buffer for my checking account, but I changed that. I figure I need to have an $1,000 buffer just because that's what personally makes me feel comfortable. And for me, it just didn't make logical sense to be trying to do that while also trying to build up my savings account, while also trying to build up my emergency fund, while also investing $700 in my Roth IRA and blah, blah, blah. Like I have a bunch of different goals. I figured I was going to streamline some of these so I could get to the goals faster and then go on to the next one. And also made some investments, which I do talk about in my previous video, episode 13. I'm specifically talking about how I spent my money and how I saved my money for the month of September. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you check it out after this video. Anyway, now it's time to get to my favorite part. The, the part that I consider to be really, really fun about personal finances in general is my investments. And just in case you're curious about the amount of money I have in investments right now when it comes to my entire net worth, I have $153,091.85 right now in investments. And that is so amazing to me. I, I can't explain to you how happy I am to be able to say that. And so if we break that down, what this looks like is this. And of course, I'll have these on the screen as well for you. For my Fidelity account, which is my 401k that I'm using right now with my current job, I have $89,632.86. And in my other 401k account with my previous employer, I have $11,016.94. In my Roth IRA account, which I have with M1 Finance, I have $19,571.81. And just in case you're curious about exactly what I'm invested in within my Roth IRA, I have it here on the screen for you right there. And just in case you're listening to this video and not watching it, I'll just spoil it for you. I have Apple, Microsoft, VOO, and BTI. And I have it split to where 30% of the money goes towards Apple, another 30% of the money goes towards Microsoft, and then 20% goes to VOO, and then another 20% goes to VTI. Done very intentionally. And I will never stop saying this as long as I make videos where I share exactly what my portfolio looks like. This was not my idea to make a portfolio like this. It was Ian Dunlap's. All I did was took a strategy and put it into my Roth IRA and that was all I did. And for my favorite account and the account that I am most prideful about, my Weeble account, which is my individual brokerage account, I have $32,357.92. And since I've owned this account, it has grown 126.13%. And just to put it in perspective, I've owned this since 2020, currently up $18,048.31. No one's just going to hand you 18 plus thousand dollars just for free. So I think it's really a cool thing that you can put your money into something and then it can just grow like that for you just as time goes by. But anyway, on the screen, you will see the investments I have. I have VTI, Google, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Apple. As you can tell, I love Microsoft and Apple, but NVIDIA really loves me because it has gained me $11,270 since I've owned this investment. So that's a very nice thing. Last but not least, actually it is least, crypto which I'm not passionate about at all, but I gotta say it, it is part of my portfolio, so I'm gonna share it with you. I have $512.32, and this time I do have a screenshot straight from my Nano Ledger account. And the last thing I wanna discuss about my assets is my life insurance whole life plan, which I have $2,491.48 left. And I do have term as well, so don't freak out. The whole thing is actually very inexpensive, to be honest with you. So my total assets came out to $166,316.98. Just nasty. 
And before we continue real quick, I want to share some pretty exciting news. And I might have said this once or twice, like, I don't know, four or five videos ago. But I want to say it again because I have surpassed this a while ago and didn't even realize it. But my initial goal at the beginning of this year, when I first realized I hit 100K as far as the net worth goes, I made a goal to hit 130K by the end of the year. And like maybe the fourth video in, I was like, guys, I think I'm going to surpass this. Well, I have very much so surpassed it. And I haven't shared the full net worth that I have for the month of September just yet. But spoiler alert, last month, I was already over 130. And this month, I'm even further along than I was last month. So it's a really cool thing. I just want to use this time right now to encourage you guys and girls to invest and build your wealth that way because... The way my investments have been growing have been something serious. And like I said in the last net worth video, my net worth has literally grown so much that it has paid me more than a lot of people take home in the US per year. And that blows my mind. So just know when you're working hard and you're investing here and there and you continue to work hard and you just go through life, whether you're winning or losing or you feel like you're winning or losing and you're also investing, time's going to go by anyway. So as you keep investing, it's going to keep growing and growing and growing. Next thing you know, you hit a certain number like, wow, that was actually fast. But if you have reached this point in the video, here's what I want you to do. Share your net worth with me in the comments. I know it's not super comfortable for everybody and it's kind of a taboo topic, but I thought I would make it a fun, more interactive type of video. Share your net worth with me in the comments. And if you are one of those who don't feel comfortable, that's perfectly fine. Drop me some fire in the comments. If you don't have your phone on you right now and you can't actually do the fire emoji, type the word fire in the comments. We're gonna keep moving. Now we're talking about debt. And I don't have a ton of it, honestly. So student loans, I have $23,195.65 left as of the end of September 2024. As y'all know, I'm taking my sweet time with that. But I will share a plan with you. Since I have already built up my checking account to where I feel it's beefed up enough to have a good buffer, boom, perfectly fine. So now I'm going to beef up my savings account and get it to 2000 like i've been saying all year i was going to do and kept about going against myself on that for whatever reason and then i'm going to get my emergency fund we'll say to fifteen thousand dollars i think that's reasonable i've got it to fifteen thousand twenty thousand twenty five thousand before and then i proceeded to move all of that to investments that's another story for another day but i think fifteen thousand to just stay in there in my high yield savings account i think that'll be a good deal once I hit those numbers, then whatever extra money I get per month that isn't already going to investments, guess where it's going? On the student loans, that's where it's going. Anyway, credit card debt, $277.77. I do pay this off every single month at the beginning. What I've decided to do this month was just use it to buy some groceries. Just pay it off, boom, you're done. So after you subtract my assets from my liabilities, the grand total for my net worth for the month of September 2024 is $142,843.56. Last month it was $138,394. So again, even though I took my cash down by $1,000, even though I wasn't even super hyper focused in on cash, even though I really didn't contribute that much to my investments. I just did little by little and still my entire net worth grew. I'm extremely grateful to have a net worth of well over $100,000 now. And if you're someone who's working towards your first $100,000 in net worth, I can help you click the link down in the description. It's the link that says $100,000 action plan. It'll give you a detailed plan from start to finish on how you can and will build $100,000 without fail by following the guide. And as part of the whole reason why I made this series, the wealth journey series i want you to actually see what it looks like to build wealth and i even have a video on here where it talks about how i went from zero really negative 30 something thousand but zero to 100 000 plus let me know your net worth in the comments and i'll see you in the next video